Welcome back to MMA Al Dente. I am the guy who picked Justin Gaethje to defeat Dustin Poirier the first time. And I'm here to talk about Marcos Ogerio de Lima versus Justin Taffa. My pick for this fight, because you're forcing me to give it to you at the top of the video, I'm going with Marcos Ogerio de Lima. I think he's a better overall fighter than Justin Taffa. I think he's got more ways to win. And I think his durability is not that big of a question. Not as big a question as I think others are questioning. I think the odds are a little tighter than I expected him to be because he's been knocked out recently and he's 38 years old. Never a good look, but uh, Marcos has only been knocked out twice overall. And uh, the first loss was well over a decade ago, I believe, to this guy Carlos Eduardo, who John Jones actually knocked out with a straight right, I believe. But the last loss comes to Derek Lewis. And he didn't knock him out, but he cracked him with a flying knee and uh, just never, he never recovered, especially with Derek Lewis pounding on him. But that's Derek Lewis. I don't think Justin Taffa or really anybody is going to go through Marcos Ogerio de Lima in that way. I think that's only a Derek Lewis thing. So I just, I have faith that he's, uh, his chin is going to hold up against Justin Taffa, who is uh, a big man. Both guys are. Close. I think uh, Marcos has one inch of height and one inch of reach. Okay, so they're uh, very similar in size. But I still think Marcos Ogerio de Lima is just the better overall fighter. I think he's much better on the ground, although I have doubt that he'll be able to put it there. But if he does, he's much better. And even if he's caught in a pure stand up fight, I do think the best weapon overall between the two is Marcos's leg kicks. So. I just think he's uh, got more ways to win and really just one way to lose. And that's a, one, a round one knockout, pretty much, by Justin Taffa. That's all Justin Taffa's done at the UFC level. Although, uh, he's scratch and clawed and lost some decisions to uh, Jared uh, Vandera and Carlos Felipe. But uh, definitely, he could win a decision. He just can't submit anybody, I suppose. But uh, I'd be surprised if he won a decision, but he could definitely do it. Uh, but really, on paper anyway, knockout is his primary path to victory. It's his only path. Seven wins, seven knockouts. I think five in round one, two in round two. The two in round two are over regional guys who weren't good. And in the UFC, where he's knocked everybody out in round one, those guys weren't so good either, to be honest. I mean, they're good, but you know, definitely uh, bottom of the UFC heavyweight division. And Marcos Ogerio Lima, it's not like he's at the tippy top or whatever, but I think overall uh, uh, he's uh, a big problem for Justin Taffa. If Justin Taffa doesn't knock him out, I think he's going to have trouble with Marcos everywhere. So Marcos is the pick. I think he tames Justin Taffa and I guess puts him away in round late in round two in one way or another. You know, that'd be my official pick. Uh, he can do that, chopping him down with leg kicks or if he finds himself on the ground, uh, yeah, he's got ways to win there for, sur uh, for sure, but uh, I can't trust anything, so I just bet on his money line at minus 140, Marcos Ogerio de Lima. I uh, think that's very tight, and maybe I'll hedge with Justin winning by knockout uh, because uh, that's his only path to victory, and it's easy to do. But I, uh, I've got Marcos winning, and I felt comfortable betting on him at minus 140. I think... Uh, Again, his health is not as big of a question as other people think. And I think he's going to hold, his chin's going to hold up in this fight. And he outpoints Justin Taffa to an eventual finish or maybe a decision. What the fuck do I know? Like, share, subscribe, all that horse shit. Check out my other videos.